Hi, and welcome to Meet the Engineers, uh, live from reInvent in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm Sean Ray, your host, uh, and today we have Claire Ligori, our Principal Engineer with Containers. Welcome to the show, Claire. Thanks. So you have a quite uh, interesting and unique role uh, that I haven't really seen in Amazon before as an engineer, and I'd like to talk a little bit about that today. Yeah, so I'm a principal engineer in containers, but specifically what I'm focusing on is developer workflows for containers all across AWS. So I work with different teams across AWS and within containers to make sure that it's a really great experience for people who are using containers. Uh, so one example is we've been working hard to put more images on Docker Hub for people to get started with containers. One example is that we just put the AWS X-Ray daemon on Docker Hub, so it's really, really easy to get started with X-Ray as a sidecar container, as an example. And then we just put up a pull request to get Amazon Coretto, the new JDK, that's officially supported by Amazon on Docker Hub as well, so it's really easy to use the Amazon Coretto JDK for containers customers. That sounds pretty cool. Sounds like you're doing a lot of work there, especially in open source where we need to get it out into the community. Definitely. Um, one thing that I'm really interested in uh, and you know, was hoping to see more out of reInvent is the CDK, the Cloud Development Kit. Can you talk a little bit about uh, you know, the work that you're doing there uh, and how that kind of ties into the, the developer workflow? Yeah, one of the things I'm really pushing a lot internally is our support for infrastructure as code because it's so important to be able to just check your infrastructure into code for containers and then release it just like you would a normal code change. So the CDK, the Cloud Development Kit, lets you describe all of your infrastructure that you would normally do in CloudFormation and YAML, super long. Uh, it lets you do it in TypeScript. So you can do things like create classes and objects that represent your resources. And then specifically for containers, what my team did was a lot of abstractions for Fargate specifically, so you only need to write five lines of YAML or 22 lines of TypeScript to generate 400 lines of cloud formation, wow. and then you get a fully load balanced Fargate service out of the box. Very That's nice. Really uh, you know, especially things like AWS SAM as well. We're trying to make this easier for people to bootstrap their infrastructure. Yeah. Um, you know, on that CDK, you just talked about TypeScript. That's probably still an emerging technology for a lot of developers. Can you talk about the difference between TypeScript and the kind of Java's before it, I guess? Yeah, so I'm really excited about TypeScript. I really just started picking it up and playing with it. One of the things that I really like about it is I found JavaScript to be, uh, I feel super productive in it. It feels very easy to get started and to pull down NPM modules. There's a module for everything that you need. Uh, but one of the things that I like about TypeScript is that it's strongly typed, so you start to get some of those uh, compile time errors, but also you're able to get uh, all of the nice things in an IDE, so you get autocomplete. So it's really nice, especially in the CDK, to be able to say, okay, autocomplete this specific property name that I don't really know, I haven't looked at the documentation, uh, just look at autocomplete and then I can complete like my S3 lifecycle policies, for example, or my Fargate service properties. So it's really easy to, uh, I feel much more productive in my IDE when I'm using TypeScript. And do you think, uh, are we, how are we going to support that, you know, Visual Studio Code, like some of the other IDEs? Are we going yeah. to release that ourselves, or are we looking for the community to build the plugins for the autocomplete? How are we? Yeah, so uh, with CDK, it's just an NPM module. Mm -hmm. So in TypeScript, in VS Code, or in IntelliJ, or whatever your IDE is, it automatically does uh, autocomplete because you're importing that NPM module. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the other things that we are doing across AWS is more IDE plugins. So there is a VS Code plugin today for AWS. Uh, there's an IntelliJ plugin for things like SAM and for uh, containers, and then uh, Visual Studio and Eclipse. So uh, we really like IDEs because mm -hmm. that makes you so much more productive, uh, especially with some of these interpreted languages getting started really quickly. Okay, that sounds really interesting. So thank you, Claire, for being on the show. Uh, this is Meet the Engineers, uh, and we'll see you next time.